I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow and each road leads you where you want Friends, hi there. Welcome back to our show here on SampoTimes.com online with Bernie Concepcion on his late night show. Friends, once again, we are glad to have with us and uh, happy to be with us, our future guest tonight, as uh, we are also grateful for giving us this opportunity. This dignitary is uh, well known to us, very popular in the banks of Moro homeland and uh, who deserves to be accorded with such kind of, uh, uh, I mean, opportunity to be asked uh, many issues and that uh, we believe these issues indeed affect Mindanao and the entire country, particularly the uh, autonomous region of the Muslim Mindanao. <laughs> This man who fought for self-determination, this man who fought for freedom, this man who fought also for liberation of the Bangsamoro nation. And uh, on the aspect of social justice, equality, self-governance, and of course autonomy. Ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, would like to welcome the uh, former SPCPD chairman, and uh, the chairman, His Excellency, the Moro National Liberation Plan, Sir Manuswan. Sir, Thank you. I'm Sean Bernie. Yeah. So, we are happy that uh, you've given us this time to be with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, seldom does uh, uh, meet a man like us to be given this uh, you know, mm -hmm. opportune time. I know uh, we have already uh, you know, as many regime, <laughs> the Philippine, uh, the Philippine Republic, from the time of Marcos and then Corey, and then uh, we have uh, Peter Ramos when we concluded the peace accord in 1996. And uh, I know you're being, you've done, done a lot of things, and we have African also, a lot of, uh, you know, ups and downs while fighting for the cause. Uh, German, we'd like to, then, to ask you if, uh, uh, what's keeping us busy now? Uh, Me? Yes, uh, I know you continue and these people are still behind. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, uh, uh, I'd like to apologize for uh, keeping you waiting. We had so many uh, guests, even when I left, there was still a lot of them roaming outside of my yeah. my room, yeah. you see, and some of them, as you could see, they even decided to come and join me here, yeah, Bernie. Yes. So sorry, so sorry, and besides, uh, uh, as you know, I had to go and uh, call on the uh, commanding general of Mencom, Mindanao Command. Yes. Lieutenant General uh, Ferrer, Raimondo Ferrer, uh, because we had to discuss uh, some uh, valuable things pertaining to the present crisis uh, in uh, the island of Olo. I was very happy that, uh, that he was very, yeah, it was quite responsive and uh, understanding of the problem. And now, uh, uh, when I return to the hotel, I saw you there sitting and even beckoning me like that. But it was impossible because I had previous uh, engagement there. No problem. So, what is keeping me busy nowadays is, uh, as you know, I was in prison for nearly seven years of my life only to be told by the court, Mr. Chairman, uh, you may now walk out of this court as a freeman. I said, why? Because the uh, uh, prosecutors have jeopardized their case by uh, 
promising us to produce uh, their uh, witnesses, <coughs> last remaining witnesses, only to say, we are sorry we cannot produce at all. Uh, we had to reset and reset and reset. But anyway, uh, so far, the uh, wise judge said, all the evidences adduced against you and your companions, eight of them, were nothing more than mere per se. And in our law, in our jurisprudence, uh, heresy cannot convict a person. So now you may go. And uh, so I left. And then uh, since then, I've been busy trying to, uh, you know, to revive and rebuild the MNLF both uh, at home and abroad. And lately what kept me busy was that uh, I had to <coughs> attend uh, a series of international conferences. Uh, the latest was uh, last June, 28th until the 30th, 30th of this year yeah, in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah. Now Kazakhstan is the nine biggest, uh, territorially speaking, the nine biggest country in the whole world. We have uh, 193 member states in the United Nations plus nine members, or together maybe about 200 of them, and it's the nine biggest in terms of its territory. And population. And population is, uh, is relatively small, only 16 million, okay. like that. But it's a very rich, it's a filthy rich land. It's a, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a wonderful place. It's a very, very beautiful Was it there that you concluded something? Uh, something? No, I went to, uh, to attend the 38th uh, Conference of Foreign Ministers. The, but uh, we were happy to uh, and honored to you know to see the president President Nur Sultan as a wife. He went there to deliver his speech to welcome all of us. He's a kind-hearted person and, uh, and he has very competent uh, foreign minister. The area now has become a hub for international conferences. Especially Europeans love to go and meet them. You know, and it's close to them. Because it's hemp in on the one hand by Moscow and the other hand Beijing, Beijing. the other side and Ulan Batur of Mongolia. So anyway, I uh, was very happy, went around, see people were very quite quite friendly to us. You see, uh, except that they told us that uh, what the us was, was that they said they are the uh, I think the either the fifth or the fourth or the third biggest exporter of wheat to the whole world. But at the same time, yes. But I said, how can how come some people are telling us that uh, seven out of twelve months. The uh, climate goes down as low as 39 centigrade. Negative. 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 So, that? <laughs> so he said, uh, you know, because the people are very, very industrious. They are adjusted to the yeah, climate. Industrious and like that. Uh, anyway, so that's a very important uh, uh, chapter in my life going there. See? bearing witness to the spectacular development of the area. So later on, uh, after I uh, returned from there, I've been shuttling between Manila and uh, Middle East, going there, coming back, going there. In fact, I was supposed to, to leave uh, on, the, on the 16th of this month to Saudi Arabia again. But I had to call it off for the meantime because 
uh, our engagement has been moved to the extreme end, probably extreme end of November. So I said, uh, yeah, and also I had a plan to go to, to uh, you know, to join the mo uh, the pilgrimage with my wife, but uh, the last moment I called it off because of the crisis in, uh, in the island of Bolo, you see. So I decided instead to come and uh, to go and join them for a couple of hours, maybe, and to talk to them, uh, to ask them uh, about the uh, progress of the work, whether they are able to uh, cause uh, this epidemic of kidnapping, of uh, all sorts of uh, kidnapping for ransoms, all sorts of criminalities. That is really affect the entire peace and order condition. Region. Well, not uh, not uh, not not so not so you know not so uh, damagingly as uh, people might think, okay. because the peace process is moving smoothly so far, and uh, we are uh, supposed to come together again for the last and final try to end the war in Mindanao by the, uh, when is that? Well, I don't know exactly when, because uh, before I left Manila, the day before, I had a meeting with the uh, ambassador of Indonesia. His Excellency Ambassador Liguo, Cristiano Liguo, and uh, told me, told us that uh, Malacana decided to just uh, put in writing their reply or replies to the, you know, to this uh, number of questions regarding the provisional government the territory and uh, ownership of mines and minerals. You have discussed Supposedly this. today. Today. They would, uh, you know, hand over their reply. But I could not wait any longer because uh, all of, uh, I was told, so I was told, is, uh, you know, uh, is caught in a smoldering fire. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you mentioned about this uh, proposal that we are waiting also for the reply of the uh, government. May, may I know what's the position of the MNLF on this? On this one? On the issue on the uh, mines and the provisional government and so on. You are the one that you discussed. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, provisional government, you know, in one of my uh, speeches or addresses before the these talks in Indonesian embassy, yeah. I remember having said this. I said all of these three issues are already finished businesses. You see, if only we are faithful to our binding international obligation and commitment, uh, we should uh, we should not be uh, waiting this long should not be waiting uh, this long. We should have concluded our peace talks long ago because they are already in the peace, in the peace agreement. For instance, talking about the provisional government, uh, try to browse over the text. You will see in Article 3 somewhere there, I think Section 14 or 15, a clear-cut statement saying that immediately after the signing of this peace agreement, namely the 1987, no, 1976 peace treaty agreement in uh, Libya, immediately after the signing, a provisional government shall be established. Okay? On the other hand, the question of uh, territory, 
You will find easily this in Article 2. Article 2 of the Triple Agreement is devoted solely to this question. It says there's a very autonomy for the Muslims, many Bangsamoro people, uh, that shall embrace the following territories. Namely, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 provinces. Yeah, name. Plus, it says, like a footnote, including all the mines, including all the, all the cities and cities. villages there. Okay? And uh, there were around there nine cities? Were 13, all of them. 13, uh, now it has become 15 provinces because two, two out of 13 have signed new provinces. For instance, Samonga de Sur has signed Cebu. And uh, uh, South Kutabatu has signed Sarangai province. Okay? Now, with respect to the cities, uh, you see, before we used to say, nine or ten, including the uh, city of uh, Davao, the biggest city in the whole world in terms of its territory. Uh, now, uh, some, a number of progressive, relatively, relatively more progressive uh, townships have been uh, transformed into cities. You see, it's like that. And uh, while uh, Tripoli agreement it states that uh, there shall be these 13 or 15 provinces and so on and so forth. Yet, when uh, Corazon Aquino took over the reins of power in Manila, after the referendum which we, you know, which we, uh, uh, you know, which we, uh, uh, you know, which we, uh, use to catapult her to power, you see? Uh, tell that uh, I signed the agreement January 2nd, 1987 with, with, with President Corazon Aquino. And this stipulation says that the territory of the uh, Autonomy in basis for the Bangsamoro people shall cover, in the first place, we shall cover Palawan, Tawi Tawi, Sulu, Basilan, and the whole of Mindanao. So, an enlargement of the uh, territorial uh, dimension of the 19. Uh, 76 peace treaty agreement. <coughs> now, with respect to mines and minerals, uh, if you go over the text of the 1996 Jakarta final peace treaty agreement, which uh, constitutes the uh, what we all, what we call the implementing mechanism of the mother of this agreement, namely Triple Agreement of 1976. Uh, what happened is uh, uh, it was stipulated that all mines and minerals, excluding only uranium, shall belong to the area of autonomy or to the autonomous region. But in uh, last February, in, uh, at the headquarters, the seventh floor of the headquarters of the OIC, we met together with the GRP Peace Panel, and of course under the auspices, and with the active participation of the OIC, Secretary General was there, etc., etc. Yes. Uh, Done. Anyway, sometimes in February of 2000, uh, this year, this year, 2011. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, in order to 
accelerate the momentum of the peace process and end the agonizing uh, uh, suffer, suffering of all people. I agreed to, you know, to uh, adopt, or rather not agreed, but I proposed the adoption of the uh, Indonesia Ase Sumatra or Ase uh, peace, peace Agreement that led to the resolution of the asset problem. Uh, what does it call for? It calls for 70-30. 70 for the autonomy and 30 for the yeah. national government. That's a sharing. And they're very, very happy. Although nowadays, uh, Indonesia is facing another challenge. Uh, West Iran, for instance, does not like to buy that uh, formula. 70, Rather, it should be 100 percent. And there are indications that the Indonesian government uh, uh, might give in to their demand because of one single reason. If they will not give in to that, most likely uh, Indonesia might lose West Aryan or Aryan Barat just like they lost uh, East Timor. <laughs> that is a critical... Yeah, that's right. Now, in our case, I said uh, uh, just a few days before I came to Jeddah, I, uh, I was in Jakarta. I went to see the former Vice President of Indonesia, Pa Yusuf Kala. He's presently head of the International Red Cross. So I went to see him at his office to ask him uh, how authentic was it that uh, Indonesia and ASE Sumatra or ASE uh, have agreed to that formula. I said I was the one who presided over it. Oh, so uh, it one. was my brainchild. Okay. See? And so I can tell you but that is true and eh? correct. Yeah, confirm it. Yeah. Oh. 70-30, I gave 72, the local, and 32. The national government. Now it seems the uh, oil is start boiling. It is coming, uh, com coming down. Yes. So now, in our case, I said, if you don't agree to the 100, uh, 100% agreement we have had, yeah. minus only uh, uranium, because we want to dissociate ourselves from any suspicion that uh, once we'll have uranium in our, in our land, then uh, MNLF or the Bangsa Moro people uh, might be tempted to produce their weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, we don't like so I like that. Uh, we give to you, uh, but uh, give the rest to us. All. Yeah. Gold, mines, etc., 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 oil, gas. Except for yeah. the But they refuse to abide by that. So yeah. I said, okay, what can I do? But lately they say, why don't we have a 50 50 uh, sharing? Okay. And then a common <laughs> plus a common common uh, joint administration. Shared uh, so, responsibility. You know. And I heard that some uh, Malacanang people were saying that uh, some cabinet members had uh, proposed a 35-60. I said no. Either you give to us uh, the uh, agreement, uh, the uh, proposal that I made, 30-70 or 70-30, or nothing. And in that case, we will not give you not even a drop of our oil, not a drop of our gas. We are supposed to be the owner of one of the biggest deposits of gas and oil in the whole world, according to the satellite. And gold mines, likewise, we have plenty. Just recently, the Australian uh, 
investors had discovered discovered the fifth biggest Sorry, the fifth biggest land mine in the whole world, a gold mine. A gold mine. That land mine. Yes. Yeah, I made a mistake. The south. Because I'm very, very, you know, as you can see, yes, my uh, so eyes is watery that's because I'm very sleepy. Anyway, no problem. Maybe we can uh, we can continue. Yes. You see? Now, so I said these are obvious businesses. In response, the head of the GRB uh, Peace Partner under Secretary uh, Lea and Memento, you know what she said? I agree. These are already finished businesses. I agree with the mass, of course we mass, out of respect for my age, I think. So, everyone, until that I went to shake her hands. But the... <coughs> Now we had they had decided to pull him out from the from, from the, the panel. panel and put this in another in the hands of another person. Yeah, it's so always like that. So we have not resolved this at all yet. Not yet, uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But I say uh, we should uh, reaffirm our commitment to our peace treaty agreements and peace accords. See. So what happened to our review of the tripartite uh, meeting? Well, that's right. This is the already the outcome of the review. So already uh, we have reached agreement on 43 counts. Okay, 43 counts. And we have only three of these. Three so uh, 43 plus 3 cost 46. You put this together and then you, you can uh, come up with a draft organic law to replace Republic Act 1954. This is our wish. But I don't know whether we can, uh, you know, we can, uh, uh, you know, we can expect a reciprocal response from them. What's that to our desire we want to once and for all? Once and for all we want to resolve. Once and for all, that's why media people like you. Uh, should uh, speak out openly. Right. Why tarry too long? Uh, for all we know, we might be overtaken taken by events like in the past. Mm. I hate to say this, but uh, I'm fearful. I'm, uh, I'm anxious. You see, because uh, should there be another crisis? then that crisis might be intolerable. Now our good mm. chairman here will be right back for more questions and answers and issues can be resolved in a matter of, uh, you know, telling our people what's going on with the ongoing review of the organic law or the peace, uh, I mean, the, the law that governs the autonomous region in Western Middle. We'll be right back after this.